Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller and, well, apparently a full-time soap maker again. Um, I have a thrift haul for you today. But first I wanted to talk to everyone about um, the soap stuff. You know, last Thursday I did a release of all of my gift sets and I just wanted to say thank you everyone so much for your support and your orders. Um, I was not expecting it to go that well. Um, the salt soap sold out within the first hour, so they never even made it to my website, and several gift sets sold, so I just want to thank you very much for that. I, I really appreciate it. They are now up on my website. Um, the remainder of everything, there's just, a, I think there's a couple Bella left, the Chanel dupes, and then there's, um... Not quite a few, but there's 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 some of every one more than two. Um, the Bella is the one that is the most, uh, the lowest. Um, anyway, so I made some watermelon lemonade uh, sea salt soap over, I don't know, I guess it was Friday night or Saturday, I can't remember. I'm tired. Um, tired, but very happy. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to just thank you all first and then someone went to my website and, and put in an order, um, well actually there was a couple and it was simultaneous so I'm guessing uh, they saw me on here, you saw me on here, um, someone ordered one of my pine tar soaps, well usually the people that order that are, um, well I've had on and off but most of the time it's people that are in my world of volunteer work because it has it's such a great soap for medicinal reasons um, about four years ago I started making it because in my volunteer work we're constantly getting into chiggers and ticks and poison oak and ivy and sumac and so I started making it because I was just absolutely miserable um, when you get chiggers and, and ticks and poison anything it's a nightmare so so I started making it and I saw how well it was working for me and so I started making it a lot of it and so every time we went on a search I would always have I make a, a big batches of it and make half bars and I take them with me and if we end up in that kind of a mess because there's usually anywhere from 20 to 40, 45 searchers on a given search that, that we, we get called up for. So I take that many bars of pine tar soap with me and salve to hand out if needed. Um, and then all the seminars that I teach, um, when I go to Texas to teach, it's really bad. The poison sumac is bad and the chiggers are bad. And so I always make up half bars and put them in their little goodie gift bags from me. Um, that I make up for all the students and that's coming up so I had been making a bunch but my point is um, I had them discounted on my site because they had lost a lot of water weight um, for some reason and they weren't up to the label size but I had already made some anticipating um, this coming seminar that I'm going to be teaching at next month so I pulled one of those instead of sending this person who put in the order, um, one of the older ones. So it is at weight. Um, it's a lot fresher. So if if it is someone from here, when you get it home, when you get it, um, just take it out of the package and let it sit out in the open air for a week or so. Um, give it some some more time to harden up a little bit more. It'll last a lot longer. And if it's not, well, I put in a note in the package um, stating to do that. And I also put in a couple extra goodies for the inconvenience. So, anyway, so my next release, I will have one sometime before my trip. And I think it's going to be um, some more salt soaps because they were went so fast. I didn't even get any on my website. And there will be bath bomb sets and probably wax melts unless you're looking or wanting something else you can leave it in the comments I make everything I make lotion I make um, salves I make I make a lot of different things so um, so 
So we'll leave it at that. Um, but again, thank you very much. Um, everyone paid their invoices. They've all been shipped. Um, there is three that has not started tracking, but they should start tracking tomorrow because where I live, when it's quitting time, they quit. The mail doesn't keep moving here like it does in bigger cities. So they will start tracking tomorrow. If you don't have confirmation that your package has started tracking, it will be tracking starting tomorrow. Um, so with that said, let's get on to the fifth haul. I went today. I took some time off today. And it, it was 99 cent day, but I think I only got two things that were 99 cents because I just didn't behave. And I didn't get there early enough. Someone beat me and everything. So I spent $59 and I got 19 items. So my cost of goods was about $3.10 per item. And that's how I do it. I don't do it by each item because I just don't. It's just easy for me to do it this way. So I got a lot of shoes and I don't need any shoes. But I got some neat shoes. And I'll start with these just because they're probably going to go to my daughter. I don't know. I'll list them. And if they're still in my closet by the time I go on my trip, because I am incorporating a trip to see my kids after I'm teaching. Um, these are Enzo Angiolini. Um, and they're just flip-flops and they're in good condition they don't look very good on the camera but I need to clean all this stuff but um, this leather is just so so soft um, these are size six and a half medium so if they don't sell these are her size and I know she'll love them so I'm gonna put them in my closet and these hmm. well I know I wrote them down this could have been the only pair that I didn't write down. Oh, the comps were all over the place. So, um, they're going to be, if I listen, they're going to be probably 20-ish. So, six and a half medium on those. And then I found these really pretty Charles David um, Croc embossed heels they are in excellent condition I mean I think this person probably only wore them one time there's like absolutely nothing wrong with them um, and I loved the pink on the inside none of the comps I found have pink um, but they are various colors so I don't know um, these were also all over the place so then I'm probably gonna list these for around 25 or 30 they are leather and they are also a size six and a half B. I normally don't pick up six, six and a half. I like to get like sevens and higher, but they were just so pretty. And these Jones New York boots, another, I think this person probably donated their entire closet. I'm guessing. These are also a six medium. Now these boots specifically um, sold comps are $40 so I'm probably going to list these for $40 um, beautiful condition actually they look like they look new but I won't list them as new um, but they're beautiful so those <coughs> I'll list for $40 <clears throat> so right there I've got my money back for, for my haul today so everything else is like gravy right oh I did find this Christian Dior makeup bag and it is the small one um, very nice I don't think it has ever been used um, comps on these were <gasps> sold comps were about $21 on the small one so I'll probably list it at $20, $22 and I'll get that And then I found these JBU shoes. They're brand new with tags, but there's some like, I don't know what the shelf wear stuff is. I don't know if you can see this here. Anyway, these are my size. And since I'm going to be on and off a boat 
on the lake with a bunch of dogs for a week I will probably keep these to work in um, but if I didn't I know I sold all of the ones I had like this I sell these I sell a lot of these um, they're ranging anywhere from 25 to 50 but I think I'm probably gonna keep these for my trip and these men's Aldo dress shoes they're in really good condition. I'm just going to shine them up a little bit. And obviously, they've been worn. And I think they were a size 11. Yeah. Size 11. Sold comps on these were $60. So, I will probably list them somewhere around that $60 mark. And one other pair of men's shoes I got. I got these Eco Leather they're not deck shoes the bottoms are dirty I will be cleaning the bottoms but the rest of it I just need to condition them they're in really good condition and the comps on these were 35 to 85 so I'll probably just go somewhere in the middle on those oops and I did get a couple pair for me um, I don't need any shoes either but I like uh, slide slip-on shoes. I've been looking for a pair of them Gucci slides. They have a little heel. I missed out on one a few weeks ago for 50 bucks and I was so mad. <clears throat> so I am scouring Poshmark several times a day looking for another pair. Anyway, these are 1803s. They're, this is like a neoprene like scuba material and they've got the leather uh, tip and the leather here and they're just slip-ons and they're in excellent condition so and these didn't comp out real high these were not much I mean you know probably 20 bucks or under but they were so comfortable so these I'm keeping and these I'm keeping I have never ever in my life seen these these are shoals um, foot cradles. I don't know. Have you ever seen shoes like this? I put them on my feet in the store and they were so comfortable and they're like, like brand new. So I'm also keeping these. And these, if I were to sell them, they didn't comp out very high either, about $18. So, um, those are mine. Let me see. All right, one more pair of shoes. These boots. What is the name of these boots? Bergdorf, Bergdorf Goodman. They're just boots, but they were in very good condition. Um, and this is like a fabric. But then inside is leather. Size 39, made in Italy, and these are comping out between $70 and $125. I don't understand that, but I don't care. I'm going to re we'll clean them up. I'm going to reshape them. I'm going to shine up these heels, get them all nice and black again. And uh, I'm probably going to list these, I don't know, between $70 and $125. So I'll probably start them at $100 and then just take offers but they're size 39s so that was that was a good pickup all right let's see okay I picked up one handbag I got this patent leather um, it's got a little pocket here it fits my phone but it wouldn't fit the big new iPhone but it's in beautiful condition and it is S-H-I-H. -I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but it's in beautiful condition, inside and out. And this was comping between 20 and 50, so I'll probably list it for 30. This doesn't need any work. I mean, I will clean the outside and 
Uh, it doesn't... Well, yeah, there was a little pen mark in here that I'm going to try to get out. This is silk, so... So it may come out. Where did it go? That's it. Just, just that. That's the only flaw on this purse. And one of my subscribers mentioned to me, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it. Whole milk supposedly gets ink stains out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try it on this purse, and I'm let you know if it works. Do you notice I have glasses on and I'm not taking off? I found my old glasses. They're not exactly my prescription anymore, but at least I don't have to put them on and off and on and off. <laughs> All right, and I got this sports bra, extra large, I think. Hope it's an extra large. Oh, it's just a large, 12, 14. I got this for me because I hate bras. You know that. Um, I have a lot in my closet for sale, but I don't like wearing them either. I prefer to wear something like this. So this is also for me. And this I might need some help with. I'm going to look it up, but I found these Nike Sculpt Victory Tight Fit Training High Rise Full Length Long Leggings Workout Pants. They are new tags, price tag of $60. But they say LSU. So, but they don't say anywhere on the tag that they're made for a college team or like, what is that? Is that could that be Louisiana State University? I mean, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to look at it. But for $4.99 with a MSRP of $60. I mean, it was a no-brainer. Somebody's going to want LSU. So I got those. And then I got a pair of Carhartt overalls. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. They're in really good condition. They had one little... Just one little mark right here. Otherwise, they're perfect. And these are... Teen, large 14 16 um, so these are I mean they're not adult size they're kid definitely kids size because they wouldn't fit me and that would be you know they should fit me if it was so these are teen teen size and then I got this cute vineyard vines Long sleeve boys shirt size five and this isn't much they comp out at 15 to 25 so I'll probably put it at 18 or so and this take offers and this cute nightgown it's just a simply basic I got this probably for me um, it's just a short little nightgown cotton which is my favorite thing so I'm probably going to keep that and then I got these mini Bowden what do they call these all weather ski pants and you know the comps weren't that great but they're they're awesome you know they have they go over your your boots and they have these metal hooks to keep them down to keep the snow and stuff out they're in really good condition size six seven I'm gonna see if they fit my grandson because winter's coming but if they don't I'm gonna list them and the comps on these were they were all over the place so if I list them I'm gonna list them at 20 and take offers I got me this this is a boot because I injured my ankle and it's still injured I'm, I'm sure it's my tendon and there's days that I need just some immobilization and support so 
this was brand new, never been used, so I'm going to keep this for me. Two. Now, Fredericks of Hollywood, do you remember them? I remember when I was a kid, my mom would not, there was a store in the mall, of all places, in the mall. She would not let us kids go anywhere near that store. And, and they had their mannequins in the windows and they had some vulgar stuff on the mannequins. Um, and I know she had a bunch of stuff that was Fredericks of Hollywood. But anyway, this sweater, I thought it was an extra large. And with the holidays coming up, look how beautiful this is. It's a button-up sweater. So it's got sequins. Big, big jewels. Just absolutely beautiful. On the sleeves, none of them are missing. Around the bottom. I just figured with the holidays coming up... I mean, it's not even necessarily Christmas colors. I mean, it can be, but, it, I mean, you could probably wear this anywhere where it's cold at any time that it's cold. Anyway, I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of Fredericks of Hollywood comps, so I'm not really sure. I'm probably going to list this for 25 or uh, keep it. I don't know. I don't go anywhere, so... Um, but it's just a beautiful sweater. Alright, last item. And my best, <coughs> well, my funnest item, I should say, is I found a Lululemon. And they are in such good condition. They, they look like they're ankle, size small, no, six, size six. They still have the size tag. Um, but it is barely hanging on. It looks like someone tried to rip it off, but didn't. I don't think they've been worn, to be honest, because that tag would have been gone. And there's no pockets. So, I'm glad I had the tag. Oh, wait. Yeah. Here's a pocket. And there's the size 6. There you go. So, yeah, I was happy about those. I haven't found Lululemon in the wild in a long time so that was nice all right so that is my haul yeah now yesterday my son and I went to the gimme five store I did that little little haul for you last Sunday Saturday something like that um, and I got a bunch of stuff again um, not necessarily to resell. A lot of it was for here, for the business. I don't know. If you want me to show you what I got, just so you can see what those kinds of places have, it's still in the bag in the living room because I've been busy. Um, I could do a video on that. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I do have, well, let's see. I have a Goodwill Blue box jewelry sitting here unopened. I have a thread up designer box sitting here that I did open. It's been almost two weeks, I think. It was a bad box, I'll tell you that up front. <coughs> but I haven't looked at it since. So um I I'm, I'm gonna pull that out and do a video. My B and G trading comes tomorrow. And then I Friday night, Clarissa texted me. I forgot. I got this case, too, at Goodwill. I had to say her name to remember. Just a cheap, cheap case because, I don't know if you guys remember those um, Chrome Hearts sunglasses that I got. Well, they didn't come in the case. So, I got that to put them in because, with the help of Clarissa, they sold. And um, I don't want to ship them without a case. So, they're going in that case. To be shipped so thank you Clarissa for your help with that some things just don't do well on Poshmark um, I got a lot of interest but no bites so um, yeah hmm. I just, just still don't want to do eBay I'll leave that to the people who know it <laughs> but what was I saying oh BNG trading is coming and then Friday night Clarissa texted me and told me boxes were up now this was like 530 
Central Time. 5.45 Central Time. That's late for Thread Up. And man, everything was up. I mean, handbags were up, designer was up, fun box was up. Everything was up. So I bit the bullet and I got one designer box and two fun boxes. And nothing is shipped yet because, you know, obviously it was after hours. So I'm hoping the fun boxes come from PA. I haven't got one from PA in a very long time. And my point with those glasses was those Chrome Heart Hearts glasses, they're they're selling used for four hundred and up. Um say three hundred and up. Um that came in a PA fun box for me. So I mean look at the profit I made. So the bad boxes I get, it just it makes it all it makes it all even out, just like I said. Um, that designer box that I got that was so bad, I got three pairs of shoes in it, and two of them I had just thrifted the week before and shown you in my thrift haul, that same brand. So, uh, that kind of stuff irks me. So, I'm hoping that this next designer box is a lot better, but I will do an unboxing of that one so you can see what I'm talking about. But it wasn't, it wasn't good. Of course, I need to look at it again. It might be better than I think it was. But I don't think so. Anyway, I think that's it. That is it. So, um, I hope you guys, when you get your gift sets, your soap packages, I hope some of it was for you. Um, I know a lot of you bought some for gifts for Christmas or for other reasons. Um, let me know what you think of it when you get it. Um... I really would like some feedback and let me know what you would like to see in the future because I make everything uh, so it kind of give me an idea of you know what customers want because you know I, I kind of stuck at home I don't really get out much I don't really interact with people much except for dog people and they don't like this stuff um, so anyway there you have it and thank you again for all of the soap orders. I really appreciate it. It made made it all worthwhile. Made all the sleepless nights and long days made it all worthwhile. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you again tomorrow with a video of something. Alright, I hope you guys have a great night. And I will talk to you later. Lily out.